Day zero, I spawn in a village and decide to look around. Find, did decide to just look around and get a feel for everything. I see a few things in the distance. And then I go, then go down and find the waystone for the village. Discovering that and unlocking that for what if I ever need to come back. I then punch down a tree, wondering why it's taking so long to punch down a single tree. It then fall it then all falls down, much to my amazement. I then punch down some more trees. Get some more wood. And then see what looks like a desert temple in the distance. I then find this cool geyser, which will be my downfall later. I find another geyser which shoots me into the air, perpetually making me levitate in the air. Which is not good. I have no idea what to do in the moment. I had no idea. I had... I then get a strange sense of deja vu, as if I've seen this before. And then, I remember what happened to Jimmy slash Solidarity on the New Life SMP. Wait, why did he leave game? Uh, Excuse me? Uh, well, well, um... See, there is a... there oh, we go. no! <laughs> no! 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 Mine! I then relog and then fall to the ground, somehow being saved by a tree. I stand there in utter amazement as to how the heck I did that. I then punch my savior tree, getting the wood. I then start ransacking the village, getting a bed, and then I head up to the main part of the village. Seeing what looks like a weird temple in the distance, and deciding not to go to it yet. I then explore the rest of the village, seeing many villagers around, and start ransacking their houses. I then find this uh, weird observe the guard task which causes me great annoyance as the villager won't stay still. But eventually I do get it and some and complete a quest. Not really knowing what I don't really know what those quests do, but eh, I then craft a crafting table, I then craft a pickaxe, figuring out that the crafting bench is 3D. I then craft a sword. And then start to kill this cow for its food. I then loot this village chest to find mountains of bread and two diamonds, of which I get very excited about. I then head further into the house and find even more stuff. I then take the furnaces. Then take the furnaces. And then... Plan out my next move. I then give my only piece of meat to a dog, where I then accidentally pick it up. I then plop it back on the ground where it bites me. I then loot another villager's house, finding some other stuff that's not really that important, but eh. I find some sugar and some bottles. 
some more bread and food. I then place down my bed and go to sleep, ending day zero. I awake on day one and start ransacking the village again. Where I find an arcane wand. And a Necronomicon. I try using the staff, but can't figure out how it works. I then kill a cow. And get some more food. And then decide to explore this other house that I found. I then loot that place that doesn't have that much good loot, but has a lot of it. I then find a cave with some iron and get it. I then look deeper and look deep into the cave and realize, nope, I am not going near that. I then go back to the village, to the blacksmith, and find some decently good loot. I then find this villager. I try to trade with him, but for some reason can't. I then decide to go to the weird stone structure by, by the village, but then I get distracted by some iron. And some coal. I then finally visit it, find some decent-ish loot, and then I get attacked by a witch. I scramble to try and find it. I find it, and then end up dying to it, as you'll see. I then find these weird... ...illagers, I guess, in robes, and I try to observe one, like I did with the villager guards. And I also complete a quest using that. I then find this weird ice place where I quickly destroy a geyser and go inside. I find what looks like blood on the ground, meat, and skulls. This is not a place I want to be. This is not a place I want to be. I then go down in the basement, which turns out to be a big mistake, as there is a bunch of skeletons down there, of which I try to fight. I fight off successfully, but only on a few parts. I then disable the spawner, and hear some very scary music. I then craft some torches, and start looting the place, finding basically no loot. Then, some skeletons attack me again, and get me down to half a heart, which is definitely not good, and makes me realize I want to get the heck out of there. I then get the heck out of there, and then find this cool phoenix mount. And then I knew exactly what I had to do. I had to tame this thing. I tried. And I tried. But then it just started to fly away. And my frustration and sadness grew. I then sleep. Ending day one. And then attempt to try and tame it again. It finally lands. It finally lands on the coast nearby, and after a few more tries, 
I finally, finally am able to tame it. And this is exciting because this thing can fly. I then take my new bird out for a test fly. In awe that I was able to be able to fly this early. I then sit my bird down, trying, well, I then land the bird trying to figure out how to make it sit, only to realize that a stick is what makes it sit, which is good. I then craft a, oh, wait, that was a diamond sword. I thought that was an iron sword. Man, I then find this weird portal. Then find this weird portal to a prison dimension, and I cautiously look around. I start looting the place, and then some mobs spawn in. That I quickly take care of. I then leave the dimension, accidentally going back in, and finally just leave. As to not die again. I then ex explore the ice desert temple. Only to find a stray that shoots me and almost kills me. I then try leaving and another stray gets me. To my frustration. I then return back to the temple, expecting to find a stray, only to find nothing else around, which weirds me out. I then craft a cool shield, which I think is a royal shield, but I don't actually show that I crafted, just know that I did, you see it in the next clip. I then look down and decide not to go further down. Then a stray ambushes me, I quickly take care of it, and I return to my bird, where I prepare to take a new flight. And then we fly out looking for a new home. We find this forest with a chest in it, with some decently good loot, and then we carry on. After many, many more times of searching, I then place down my bed to go to sleep which is the end of day two. On day three, I continue the search for a new home and return back onto my bird. I then find this cool ice spikes biome with a few drakes and me, not wanting to die, quickly tries to avoid them. I then find this cool little spot and decide to make a home here. I then build a little pen around my bird so it doesn't get damaged in the night, even though I'm not sure it can. I then start work on my house. It's not the best house, but eh, I'm not the best builder either. I then go find see this mushroom guy say hello, and then go to explore my surrounding. I then place down my bed in my house, and then quickly destroy this geyser, as I'm not risking anything. I then go into a cave for a little bit, mining some zinc and a few other things along the way. Listening to also some weird cave noises.
I then explore the cave further, finding a few more ores, and some coal, which is greatly appreciated as there is a lot of it. Like, ay ay ay, there's a lot of it. I then find some more, find a dead end with some torches, get some more iron, try and figure out my inventory, and then I return home and find this cool little reindeer and decide to keep him. I put him in the same pen as the bird so I, so he doesn't get out. He is very fast though, but for some reason doesn't fly, which I don't know why. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Oh, I then start cooking up some of the ores I found, along with some food. I then cut down a tree, and then go to explore, and then I cut down another tree. Kill some sheep. Kill some more sheep. And then I find this cool cherry blossom biome, which is really cool. It looks beautiful. It just strikes me with awe. And then I return home as to not die in the night. I then find this really creepy spider, which ugh, grosses me out, and then I go back to finally sleep on this final day of day four. I then craft a chest and a few more chests, making a double chest, empty out my inventory, and getting rid of some stuff. I then get some stuff out of the furnace, and then I go explore this weird mushroom place right by my base. There is a mushroom dealer, and then I go see what the heck this weird tower is about. Where I get tricked by some pressure plates, and then in a 1000 IQ move, I empty out the dispenser of its arrows. But even after that, there was still some redstone under it that was poisoning me. I then dig under, disabling it, making sure it can't harm me again. I then explore the other houses, not really finding anything though. Nothing really was in there. I then explore my surroundings, seeing what's around me, like a forest and a mountain with a waterfall, and then this is where I end this. If you want to see more of this and want me to continue this, consider subscribing and letting me know down in the comments. I'll see you all next time, goodbye!